Welcome to the thrilling waters of the 1975 film that set a precedent for suspenseful storytelling. Directed by Steven Spielberg, this iconic piece of cinema submerged audiences into a world of fear and anticipation. Set against the backdrop of a coastal town terrorized by an unseen predator, the movie introduced us to a trio of heroes, a police chief, a marine biologist, and a grizzled shark hunter in a mission to protect their community from an ominous threat lurking beneath the surface. Among the multitude of characters, which one captured your admiration the most? Was it the steadfast determination of police chief Martin Brody, the scientific curiosity of marine biologist Matt Hooper, or the rugged bravado of Captain Quinn? This film, with its nerve-wracking sequences and timeless suspense, has left an indelible mark on countless individuals. Did it strike a chord with you, inspiring a new perspective, or perhaps instigating a fascination with the unknown depths of the ocean? Share your cherished memories and personal experiences linked to this classic in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and the impact this movie had on your life. Remember, every dive into reminiscence carries its own tale. Let's uncover those stories together. Following the release of the 1975 movie Jaws, the aftermath triggered a peculiar reaction. A wave of fear swept through parts of society, leading to incidents fueled by paranoia. One such instance occurred on a Southern California beach where lifeguards mistaking dolphins for sharks cleared the area, echoing the tension evoked by the film's premise. In another tragic event in Florida, bystanders fatally attacked an immature pygmy sperm whale, mistaking it for a shark. These incidents showcased the impact of the film's portrayal of sharks on public perception and behavior, blurring the line between fiction and reality. The production of Jaws faced its own challenges. Initially slated for a 55-day shoot, the movie stretched to a grueling 159 days, earning the nickname Flaws among the crew. As the shoot extended and the budget soared, the strain was felt not only on set, but also by the locals of Martha's Vineyard, where filming took place. Initially curious and supportive, the community grew weary and frustrated with the prolonged presence of the production, revealing the strain caused by the film's protracted shoot. The legacy of Jaws extends beyond its cinematic success. It left an indelible mark on society, influencing perceptions of sharks and triggering an unusual public response. Simultaneously, the film's production challenges highlight the arduous process behind bringing the iconic movie to life. After filming wrapped for the thriller, Spielberg hinted at his next project taking place on solid ground. He vowed, my next picture will be on dry land. There won't even be a bathroom scene. True to some extent, his subsequent film, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, did unfold on terra firma, despite a couple of bathroom scenes. Interestingly, this declaration hinted at a shift from the aquatic terror that defined his previous endeavor. The director's pivot from the deep blue to terrestrial landscapes set the stage for a different cinematic experience, diversifying his portfolio beyond the realm of aquatic suspense. By shifting the narrative focus from water to land, Spielberg embarked on a fresh journey that showcased his versatility as a filmmaker. This transition teased a departure from the aquatic thrills of his previous work, laying the groundwork for a new cinematic exploration. Filming the shark thriller involved intricate details like the creation of three mechanical sharks, each with specific functions and a hefty cost of around $250,000 apiece. These Bruce's Veridone opened on the right side, one on the left, and the third was fully skinned. The production's choice of Eastman film stock, although cheaper at the time, came with consequences. Despite its initial cost-effectiveness, this stock became notorious for quicker fading over time than other film stocks, impacting the movie's preservation. Beyond the technical challenges, the on-set dynamic between Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfuss added an unexpected layer. Reports suggested their mutual dislike fueled tension between their characters, enhancing the on-screen chemistry between Hooper and Quint. However, Dreyfus later clarified that their discord was limited to a single significant disagreement. These intricate details and dynamics behind the scenes added complexity to the creation of the iconic film, shaping its impact and legacy. Mythbusters dedicated a special episode to testing the realism of various scenes from the 1975 thriller. They debunked several aspects. Piano wire isn't strong enough for shark catching, scuba tanks won't explode when shot, and certain shark behaviors portrayed lack evidence. Even the shark's force to pull a boat backward was questioned. Live footage of a real great white was used in Hooper's cage scene, though the shark's mouth size varied. 
The film's crew, including noted shark photographers, made a smaller cage and faced a real shark tearing it apart. This forced script changes, yet challenges arose as the little person involved refused to return after the cage incident. These tests revealed discrepancies between the movie's portrayal and reality, adding a fascinating layer to the film's production intricacies. Director Steven Spielberg once mentioned that upon reading the novel that inspired the film, he found himself oddly siding with the shark. His reasoning, the human characters felt so unsympathetic that the shark became a strangely appealing figure. This revelation offers a unique insight into Spielberg's initial perception of the narrative, where the antagonist appeared more relatable than the flawed protagonists. This unexpected perspective shed light on the director's approach to portraying the characters in the iconic thriller, shaping the dynamic between predator and prey on the big screen. Kevin Klein, approached for the role of Matt Hooper, suggested he knew an oceanographer. Spielberg insisted on someone actually trained, not just connected. This highlights the director's commitment to authenticity. Klein's anecdote underlines the effort to cast appropriately, ensuring realism in character portrayal, a key aspect of the movie's success. It speaks to Spielberg's dedication to accuracy, a trait evident throughout the film's production, including the meticulous planning for aquatic scenes and the challenges faced with the shark animatronics. Spielberg's commitment to genuine expertise in casting helped anchor the movie's believability, a crucial factor in its enduring impact on audiences, transcending the realm of mere entertainment. Director Steven Spielberg aimed for authenticity in every aspect of the movie. One instance was the harrowing beach attack scene. Actress Susan Baclany, portraying the victim, faced a grueling setup. Two 300-pound weights attached to her, pulled by two groups of crewmen on Shorion to the right, the other to the left. This realistic portrayal took three days to capture, emphasizing the meticulous dedication behind the scenes. This commitment to realism echoed throughout the production, driving Spielberg's vision for an immersive and impactful thriller. As our dive into the depths of this cinematic treasure trove nears its end, I invite you to pause and ponder the indelible impact that a certain cinematic masterpiece, recognized by the formidable presence of a certain iconic creature, has had on your own narrative. Think back to those heart-pounding moments perched on the edge of your seat as the suspenseful soundtrack ebbed and flowed the tale of man versus nature unfolding before your eyes. Whether it was your first encounter with the enigmatic beast or a revisit to the familiar shores, Jaws managed to etch itself into the fabric of our shared culture, a testament to the power of storytelling and the thrill of the silver screen. Perhaps it was the thrill of the hunt, the camaraderie amongst the characters, or the pulse-quickening realization that what lurks beneath the surface can evoke both terror and fascination. Your memories and reflections weave a unique tapestry, each thread a testament to the enduring allure of this cinematic gem. Now, as the credits roll and the echoes of that iconic theme linger, I encourage you to share your thoughts, anecdotes, and favorite moments from this celluloid marvel. Your voice adds depth to the collective mosaic of experiences, enriching the legacy of this cinematic voyage. Thank you for delving into these waters of reminiscence and contemplation with me. Your time and reflections are a treasure in themselves.